are five simple things that you should be doing every single day if you want a flat stomach. I am not going to tell you a magic pill. I am not going to tell you any type of detox. My videos on having a flat stomach always do so well and I want you guys to understand that there are so many things that go into having a flat stomach. Above everything else, if you are not doing these five other things, then you are doing it wrong. Number one is walking. Hot girl walks are absolutely a thing. Walking is going to be a form of low intensity cardio. It will burn and target fat way, way, way more effectively than doing HIIT workouts five to seven times per week. It will keep you between a 60 to 70% of your max heart rate and it will not overstress your body out. If you're not doing hot girl walks already, you need to be doing them every single day. Next is drinking enough water. To make sure you are staying hydrated because hydration plays a very, very, very major role in digestion and your muscle function. If you aren't drinking enough water, you will not be able to eliminate waste properly. This will lead to waste filled up, water retention, feeling swollen, feeling just full and bloated. If you're not drinking enough water, you need to, need to, need to be doing that. Number three is eating and eating enough, eating enough fiber, eating enough protein, carbs, fats, eating enough. If you are under eating, you are not going to see a result. Eating good quality foods for your digestive system if you want your gut to thrive, you need to be eating a variety of fruits, vegetables. Get all the colors in your diet. Under eating will not get you anywhere. It will stress your body out and your body will not have enough food to digest, therefore eliminate, which goes back to my other. Number four is recovery. Recovery is crucial to seeing results in general. You, If you are go, go, go in the gym, you're not giving your body a break, you're working out six or seven days a week and you're not stretching, you're not, you're not sleeping well that will hinder your progress recovering properly does not also just come from sleep it comes from eating well fueling your body making sure you're staying hydrated making sure you managing your stress levels, not overdoing it with high intensity cardio. All those things factor into your recovery. And finally, genetics. Genetics play a huge role in the progress in this amount of stomach fat you have on your body, in your legs, in your stomach, everything. Some people lose body fat faster than others. Some people gain body fat faster than others. Some people have it in other places that others don't. And it's completely normal. But understand that genetics play a huge role as well.